Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from my bunker and uh, 2018 just about over um, and as you know a lot of people reflect on the previous year as New Year's rolls around um, it has it is a very very special significance to me because it is uh, almost the one year anniversary uh, when I had to make the split decision to uh, become a full-time YouTuber, as, they, as some people would call me. Um, and I know that, that I've gained a lot of subscribers in the last year. So I just, I'll just kind of run through, uh, for those of you who are familiar with kind of how this last year has played out for me. Um, I was previously uh, worked in child, child protective services for the Haywood County uh, Department of Social Services here in uh, North Carolina. And um, I I started my job on, I think the first, I think it was January 1st, 2008. And um, so every year they give you a review um, where they tell you, you know, what, how you've done, if you've done well. Um, if there's issues, they talk with you about them, and I was kind of hit upside the head um, when I was told that um, they expected me to um, delete my YouTube channel. I've been making YouTube videos for about four four years, I think, at that point, and uh, they they previously there had been a kerfuffle when they found out uh, about my YouTube channel. Um, they made me sign an, an agreement where they understood that I had a, a different source of income, a different job, even though uh, it wasn't really, it wasn't really an income because it was more just, uh, wasn't never felt like a job to me. It was more me putting the money back to make more videos. And I made videos before I, could generate a penny off of them where I was paying for trips out of my pocket just because I wanted to see stuff but uh, yeah they told me uh, and they told me I had to delete my YouTube channel and the reason the reasoning was was because uh, people on the internet you know they call them trolls whatever just people people that for whatever reason didn't like me on the internet didn't like my videos didn't like my personality some people that I must have just uh, rubbed the wrong way. Um, they wrote letters to my work. They called my work. Um, I was a victim of harassment. Uh, fortunately now, uh, for whatever reason, uh, the, the harassment um, has, has slowed down or, or come to almost a complete stop. Uh, I hate even saying that because it worries me. We had some, some pretty tense times uh, last year, but I, I feel as far as uh, my personal safety and the safety of my family, I'm not, I'm no longer concerned. But anyways, yeah, these people would write letters to my work, they would call my work, call the local news, uh, they would uh, send letters to my house, they'd call uh, our house phone in, uh, in the middle of the night and uh, waking up my, uh, my 93 year old uh, grandfather in law. Um, so it was intense. And because of this harassment, I was asked to delete my YouTube channel. Uh, the only reason that I was given was that it had become a distraction. Um, um, they were really unable to provide me with very much beyond that. Um, and so I told that I, I went to my office. I left the meeting very, very heated. I got a little heated. I did not freak out. It wasn't anything like that, but I, I, I was very clear that I strongly disagree with their decision. Um, I felt like that I was being punished for being harassed. And, um, you know, I worked for, I worked, we were social workers and the, um, the fact that they would punish me for being, for being, um, for being harassed. I mean, ugh, that, that, that made me worry. That made me 
uh, for one of the first times in my 10 years career, um, really truly doubt uh, the integrity of the Haywood County Department of Social Services. So yeah, I went to my office, called my wife, um, you know, she pretty much told me, um, you know, you need to do what you, need, what you think you need to do. Um, and I felt that if I shut down my YouTube channel, that I would never forgive myself. And so, I didn't know at that point, I didn't know if I was going to try to go full time, but I knew that I couldn't, I wasn't going to work for a place that wasn't going to allow me to have my YouTube channel that I had had uh, for four years, and then I wouldn't, uh, I didn't want to work for a place that, that showed questionable integrity like that. So I put in my two weeks notice, I, um, I, I, I worked for agency for 10 years, I worked closely with these people, worked um, late nights working with abused and neglected children, so I, I didn't want to storm out. I wanted to put in um, my two weeks, and I worked I worked the two weeks. It was hard. It was hard. It was hard going in there um, with the strong feelings I had, but I was able to complete, uh, to complete my uh, two weeks. So after I got home, I uh, had a discussion with my wife. We um, talked about it, you know, it was an emotional conversation, um, but what we came up with was a time frame. Um, I was going to try to do YouTube full time, just to give it a shot, because it was, I felt like it was sick or swim, it was my opportunity. Um, you know, I, and, I, and I, you know, 10 years of work experience, college background, I, I can get another job social doing social work. In fact, um, so several people, uh, very, very nice people, um, reached out and offered me positions uh, when they heard that I had left uh, social services. So, you know, I know I knew that I could work, uh, but I wanted to give it a try because it was my passion, and you know, I felt like th this is as good a time as any to see if I have what it takes to do this full time. And the time frame that we laid down was we were gonna. I was going to do it for three months, and then we were going to reevaluate the situation. Um, it was scary. It was scary. Um, you know, we had just uh, just bought a house a year or so before that. We had a mortgage, had a car payment. Um, you know, have two children. Um, we're taking care of my wife's grandfather. So there's a lot, a lot to go into the decision. And it wasn't even an easy decision to make. It was very scary, but. Um, I posted that video, I made an announcement, posted that video, um, when I woke up in the morning, like, I, my, <laughs> the, the amount of goodwill and support that was given to me was overwhelming. Um, people had donated to my Patreon, people had subscribed, people had shared my video, um, and I just, it really was clear that my viewers, my subscribers, they had my back. I felt they had my back. Um, they showed they had my back. They definitely had my back. Um, so I, uh, I finished up social work and then two days, two, two, uh, probably about one or two days later, I hopped in a car and drove all the way to uh, California, all the way across the country, um, stopping and filming stuff the whole way. I was still <laughs> not sure, not sure if this was gonna work, but I just wanted to, I wanted to do something big. I wanted to, to push to do something I hadn't done before, and that's a cross country trip. And so I got a lot of questions over the past year. How is it working? How are things? Um, it's working. It's working. Um, I have, with the help of Patreon, with the help of the super chats in um, in my live streams and the T-shirt sales, um, you know, just just every little bit that has helped and has helped keep me on the road. And you know, right now I have no plans. I have no plans to stop. My plan is to ride the carpet train until the wheels fall off. 
I wanted to be really honest here for a moment and, um, you know, kind of think about the circumstances that led to me losing my job, me going full time. In some ways, it is one of the absolute best things that ever happened to me. Um, I, I feel like in some ways it was that kick that I needed to put myself into full gear, to, um, to, to try to live my dream instead of putting it off. Um, I think the people that tried to hurt me ended up helping me and um, allowing me to live this 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 amazing adventure over the past year. Um, but I like sometimes sometimes I get angry still I get I get upset you know you get upset people people try to hurt you and even though even though um, even though it turns out for the best, it's like these people tried to hurt me. These people tried to violate, you know, these trolls. They tried to hurt me. Um, the people that I worked that I worked for um, tried to take away um, my private life from me, um, and it makes me mad. And I, some people have always asked, you know, did you ever consider suing your work? Are you going to consider doing a lawsuit? And and my answer has always been no. I feel. I feel that I have a case, but um, I, I felt like it was better to move forward, to go out on this um, adventure and to put that in the past. Um, but yeah, sometimes, sometimes I get mad and it's silly. It's silly to get mad because if it wasn't for them, <laughs> I'd still be working there and I wouldn't be uh, traveling across the country. Um, and, and sharing all these amazing places with you. So the way I try to look at it is this, uh, and it goes back to one of my older videos, and that was a video from Enterprise, Alabama. And uh, the people of Enterprise, Alabama, um, erected a statue to the bull weevil in the middle of their town. It's actually in the middle of the street. There's a four-way intersection, and there's a, a, like a Greek goddess holding a, uh, a bull weevil. And if you don't know what a boll weevil is, it's a pest that destroys crops. And what happened was that um, the boll weevil actually invaded the town, destroyed all their crops, just tore apart their, their, their growing cotton. So it ruined, ruined their cotton crop. And this, you know, for a small farming community, this could be absolutely devastating. So the people, their answer was, you know, they can't grow cotton anymore because it's just to get eaten up by the weevils. So they planted peanuts, and that peanut, that change to growing peanuts, caused this economic boom, and uh, and it revitalized the town. It saved the town, and you know they don't have they don't have a statue of a peanut. They have a statue of the boll weevil, because the boll weevils. Even though the boll weevil's destruction, the malicious destruction of the boll weevil was an, initially perceived as a complete negative. Their crops had been destroyed. Um, they looked at the boll weevil as something that uh, had, had the catalyst for change, the catalyst for success. So I try to look. I try to look at those trolls and I try to look at DSS as my boll weevils. And um, when I get mad, that's, that's what I try to remember. And I did want to uh, give a couple special thanks, um, and please, please, please don't get hurt. Your feelings hurt if I don't mention you, because there's way too many people to thank to even uh, to even mention. Um, but there's there's a few things, a few things, a few, few people I'd like to acknowledge. Um, Rosie Higgins is a, a longtime supporter of this channel. Um, and I don't know, I, you know, medical issues, um, she ended up passing away just a few weeks ago. Um, she was always positive to me, um, you know, when I was having trouble with, with, with people harassing me, um, you know, she, she worked with me to try to help me. Almost sometimes she would try to be a liaison, she would try to go, uh, to people that were bothering me and try to, try to smooth things out. Just a genuinely good person and I'd feel wrong if I didn't mention her here. And of course, I have to thank Adam the Woo, my, my one of my best friends, um, who um, has has uh, it really gave me a foot in the door as far as exposure. Um, 
without I think without the initial exposure that he gave me um, I wouldn't be here right now so I that's something I always try to remember I'd like to mention Jeff from Creates. Um, he uh, this year he has kind of helped me not rebrand but polish up the the uh, the the visual aspect of the Carver Bagger channel. He's created uh, all my in new intros this year. He's done some custom intros for different videos. Um, he does every thumbnail that I have. Uh, he, he creates for me, and um, he has his own website, Creates. Um, it's a re really, really good channel. Um, some really cool stuff on there. It's based around technology and 80s culture. Um, just a really fun segment where he tells these childhood stories um, and he does these pencil animations. Really, really, really hilarious stuff and I wish everyone... Give him a watch. Just give him a... Go, go to his channel. I'm not telling you you have to subscribe. But go to his channel, watch one video, and if you like it, please subscribe. I'd like to thank uh, Denise. You know who you you are. I don't know if you want me saying your last name, uh, but Denise has been insanely generous uh, with, with her contributions uh, to the channel, and I'd feel wrong if I didn't say something about her. Last person I want to talk about is my friend John. Uh, his channel called Exploration Unknown, and John is currently going through a situation eerily similar. Uh, to the situation that I went through a year ago. Uh, John uh, lost his job uh, two days after Christmas, which is a punch in the gut. Um, John made the decision that he wants to try to uh, pursue YouTube as a full-time job um, as well. And, you know, certainly there's not 100% there's not certainty, um, but he wants to take a shot at it. And I, in my heart of hearts, um, think that he has absolutely everything that it takes um, to grow his channel where, where he can do that. Um, met John a couple years ago. He just kind of sent me a message out of the blue on Facebook and um, asked me if I wanted to go uh, through an abandoned college. And um, I had no idea who he was, but it sounded fun. So I ended up taking him up on his offer. Uh, met him, we've kept in contact ever since, we've done a lot of videos together. Um, but when I met him, um, I had, I think I had about 20,000 subscribers and, and John had um, less than a thousand and it's been really cool seeing kind of growing together, growing our channels kind of together, uh, you're kind of encountering some of the same, uh, same stuff at the same time and um, John is, is, is like me is just willing to travel willing to push himself to just ridiculous amounts i remember driving uh driving it was like five or six hours we drove to a uh, abandoned mental asylum and then drove six hours back and he had to he had to work the next morning so like you know he was working his full-time job um, and then, you know, trying to take this, uh, the spare time he had to just jam in these crazy trips, crazy long trips, and, and film. Um, he's got, he does a lot of band buildings, paranormal stuff. He's really good. He's really good. He's got a great personality. He's a great dude. Um, like I said, check out, go to his channel, watch one video. Pick a, pick one that looks good and watch it. And if you like it, then subscribe. You please do that for me. Just watch a video to see if you like it. And just an absolute blanket thank you to everyone else. Every penny, every dime helps keep uh, my car on the road. Um, you know, and that's how, that's, you know, independent creators like me, um, like Adam, like, like Creates, like John, um, that's what, that's how we do what we do is, uh, you know, is this, this, this community, you know, around us that, that supports us and allows us to do, um, you know, what we love and to share it with you. So, um, never do I ever expect anyone to donate money or give money. Um, watch the videos. That's what I, that's, that, that, that is, that is something you can do that doesn't cost anything that helps. But if you would like to contribute, um, you can consider buying a t-shirt, um, 
still doing Patreon postcards every month. Um, I send out uh, postcards to donations of $3 or more, and then I do antique postcards for um, people donating uh, $10. Um, it helps me immensely. Um, so consider it. You may consider it and then decide not to, but at least consider it. So, uh, 2018 is an amazing year for me. So, uh, tomorrow I'm going to release a compilation video of some of what I feel are the best moments, uh, the best carpetbagger moments from 2018. And I appreciate, I appreciate you guys watching this once in the bag.